What's up, dude? Hi, this is Neil from Novisign. Today I'm going to show you how our digital signage app can control a Samsung TV display. Yes, you heard me right. It can control the Samsung TV display. Now look, what do we have here? Here, please come forward. Here I have a Samsung TV display. This one is called DC40E. That means this is the DC series. 40 means that this is a 40 inch TV display. And E means that this is the E sub uh, sub series or sub model. Now, first thing we have to do before we start dealing with our app settings is this. Look, I have a remote control of the Samsung TV. I'm gonna press the menu button, just like that. And what do I have here? Here I have to deal with two things. I go to the network uh, network option. Then I need to choose network status. In the network status, I already have a couple of things. I see the IP address, I see the subnet mask, I see the gateway. I need to give this TV display a static IP. Why static IP? I need the IP not to be changed. So, I will go to the IP settings. Look, I have those buttons. Up, down, left, right. And this is the enter, so I choose this. Instead of get automatically, I'm going to press the enter enter that manually instead of automatically. Now here I can change the IP to something else but I'll keep that one. Alright, I don't change anything, I just go down to the OK, press the OK and I got it. I press the close. I'm done with the network setting. This was the first thing. I go back and now I need to choose the system menu. I press the system First thing, I'll go to the multi-control option. Here I need to change the PC connection from RS-232 to RJ45, which means LAN or Wi-Fi. I don't change the ID setup. I can leave it at double zero. Now I go back to this, uh, to this um, menu. I still need to, to stay in the system and within the system I scroll down till I find a general. Inside the general I will scroll down to the button where I see the OSD display. Inside the OSD display I need to turn off everything. Why? Why? Because I don't want to get any notification on the screen when the app change, changes something. So I just changed everything to off. Now, return, return, and guys, we're done. So that was from the Samsung side. These are the settings which I need to do. And now I need to make some changes here in our app settings. So I will scroll down to the block which is called Advanced. This is somewhere in the bottom. And within, you can see that there is external interfaces. I will go to the TV option. Now here I need to turn the control TV, so I change it. I change it from off to on. Now the the, the vendor should remain Samsung because this is a Samsung TV. Uh, in the IP here, I can change that to whatever IP of that TV, and like you saw, that was 10.0.0.28. I'll keep that this way. A check frequency. That means uh, how for how in let's say how many seconds uh, for how many seconds is going to check the TV. That's the frequency. I can make it longer, but let's keep it as 20 seconds. That means every 20 seconds the app is going to probe the TV, and if it has to change anything, it will change something. Control level. Uh, I set at at 30. That means uh, sorry. That's the volume level. That's the level of uh, how uh, loud it's going to be the volume. That means I can control it. That means make it permanent. And also ensure that HDMI 1, I'm going to turn it to on. That means if someone changes the HDMI port from 1 to something else like HDMI 2, once the app probes the TV, it will change it back to HDMI 2. So now I'm going to show you how it works in real. That means I'm going to press escape, escape, and let's run the app again. So you want to see the app is running. 
So now let's use the remote control. I'm going to reduce, decrease the volume. Let's decrease that to 17. So remember, every 20 seconds now, our app probes the TV, and if it has to change the volume, it's going to change the volume. Let's take a look. See, now it's 30 again, because why? Because we set that to 30. Now let's do another thing. I'm going to change the source. I'm going to change the source to HDMI 2. I also confirm that the HDMI should be always 1. So every time the, apps, the app probes the TV, that's every 20 seconds, not only that it changes the volume back to 30, it also changes the HDMI back to HDMI 1. Now I'm going to do another thing. I'm going to turn off the TV display. Once I turned on the, the TV control settings, it's going to do the same with the on-off. That means if the TV is off, it's going to turn it on every time the app probes the TV. And look, I didn't do anything. Now the TV just turned itself on. Again, why? Because the app makes sure that this will happen and that the TV will stay on. This is what it does. Okay, guys, I'm really happy you watched that video. This is very important. This is Samsung. This is the remote control. This is our app. We can do that. Thank you.